problem one, working alone, Ryan can dig the 10 foot by 10 foot hole in five hours. Castell can dig the same hole in six hours. How long would it take them if they worked together? Ryan plus Castell equals total time. Ryan can do the job. I'm defining my job as a 10 foot by 10 foot hole. So a, he can dig that hole in five hours. Since the rate of work is per hour, whenever you have per, it means divide, so per hour. So that's why I'm writing it as one job over five hours. Plus Castell, who can do one job in six hours. And how long would it take them if they worked together? So one job over x hours. And I'm solving for x, where x is going to be total time together. So writing this out, I have 1 fifth plus 1 over 6 equals 1 over x. When you're adding two fractions, the first thing you need to do is make sure you have a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this by 6 over 6, multiply this by 5 over 5. That's going to give me 6 times 5 for my common denominator, so I'll have 6 over 30 plus 5 over 30 plus 1 over x. So I'm going to end up with 11 over 30 equals 1 over x. Now I want to solve for x, so to do that I'm going to cross multiply, which will give me 30 equals 11x. Divide by 11 to give me x equals 30 over 11. I'm going to put that into my calculator. 30 divided by 11 equals 2.727 repeating. I'm going to round that to the nearest hundredth. x equals 2.73 hours. If you look at the answer sheet that CUDA software gives you, the answer is 2.73 hours. Now in math, there are several ways to get the same answer. If you don't want to cross multiply, you've got 11 over 30 equals 1 over x. If you take the inverse of that, you'll get 30 over 11 equals x. So some people just intuitively know, hey, I can take 1 over this and it's going to flip everything and give me this reciprocal. But in case you want to see like how it's solved out, the reason behind it is cross multiplying, which is basic algebra. So moving on to problem 2. Shauna can pour a large concrete driveway in six hours. Dan can pour the same driveway in seven hours. Find out how long it would take them if they worked together. Again, for this, my job is going to be one concrete driveway. So we've got Shauna, who can do that job in six hours. Dan, who can do the same job in seven hours find out how long it would take for both of them to do that one job. I'm going to take a common denominator, which is 6 times 7, so I'll have 7 over 42 plus 6 over 42 equals 1 over x. It's going to give me 13 over 42 equals 1x. Again, I'm going to cross multiply. I could take the inverse and do 1 over and just know that I need the reciprocal of each. x would equal 42 over 13. Or you could say cross multiplying, you're going to get 42 equals 13x. 
divided by 13. Either way you do it, you're still getting 42 divided by 13 for your answer. 42 divided by 13, 3.230. Rounding to the nearest hundredth, I'm going to say 3.23 hours. And if you compare that to the answer sheet, that is going to be your answer. Moving on to problem three, it takes Trevin 10 hours to clean the attic. Cody can clean the attic in seven hours. Find out how long it would take them if they worked together. Let's see, Trevin can do it in 10 hours. Cody can do the same job in seven hours. How long would it be for them to work together? Again, I need that common denominator, which is going to be 10 times 7. 7 over 70 plus 10 over 70 is 1 over x, which is going to be 17 over 70 equals 1 over x. So x is going to equal 70 divided by 17. It's going to be 4.117. You round, it'll be... 4.12 hours. Looking at your answer sheet, it indeed is 4.12 hours. Problem number four, working alone, Carlos can oil the lanes in a bowl alley in five hours. Jenny can oil the same lanes in nine hours. If they work together, how long would it take them? So Carlos can oil the lanes in five hours. Jenny can oil the same amount of lanes in nine hours. How long would it take them to oil the same amount of lanes if they worked together? Which will give me 1 over x. Finding your common denominator, 9 times 5. So I'm going to take 9 over 9. 5 over 5. It's going to give me 9 over 45 plus 5 over 45 equals 1 over x. 9 plus 5 is 14 over 45. My common denominator equals 1 over x. Take the inverse or cross multiply, and your x is going to equal 45 divided by 14. 3.21. Problem number 5. Working together, Paul and Daniel can pick 40 bushels of apples in 4.95 hours. Had he done it alone, it would have taken Daniel 9 hours. Find out how long it would take Paul to do it alone. 1 over what Paul can do, plus 1 over what Daniel can do equals 1 over the total time. We don't know how long it takes Paul to do the job we're solving for Paul. 1 over x plus Daniel can do it in 9 hours. Together they can do it in 4.95 hours. To solve for x we're going to want to minus 1 over 9 from each side, so minus 1 over 9 minus 1 over 9 will give us 1 over x. 1 over 4.95 minus 1 over 9. I'm going to show you two different ways to solve this. The first one, just add the values. Put 1 over 4.95 in your calculator. You're going to get 0 0.202 minus 0.1118. The inverse of that, which would give you x equals 1 over 0 0.091, you get 10.98 hours. CUDA software is calling the answer 11 hours. 10.99 is pretty darn close to 11. But if you want to see how they get that 11 straight up, I'll show you that too. Let's go back to the 1x equals 1 over 4.95 minus 1 over... 9. You want the same common denominator since you're subtracting fractions, so you would put 9 over 9, 4.95, so 1 over x equals 9 over 9 times 4.95 minus 4.95 over 9 times 4.95. 4.95 times 9 equals 44.55. 9 over 44.55 minus 4.95 
over 44.55 over x equals 9 minus 4.95 is going to be 4.05 you'll have over 44.55 1 over x equals take the inverse over that and you'll have x equals 44.55 divided by 4.05 11 out. If you can't do the inverse you can always cross multiply you would get 4.05 x equals 44.55 divided by 4.05 which is exactly what I showed you here. Problem number six. Working together, Jenny and Natalie can mop a warehouse in 5.14 hours. Had she done it alone, it would have taken Natalie 12 hours. How long would it take Jenny to do it alone? So we know our formula is going to be 1 over what Jenny can do it in plus 1 over what Natalie can do it in is going to be 1 over total time. So they're giving us what Natalie can do it in, which is 12 hours. So we'll have 1 over x for Jenny plus Natalie is going to be 12 hours, so 1 over 12 equals 1 over the total time, which is 5.14. 1 over 12 minus that from each side, minus 1 over 12, so we'll have 1 over x equals 1 over 5.14 minus 1 over 12. You want that common denominator, so I'm going to take 12 times this and 5.14. 1 over x equals 61.68. 12 over my common denominator of 61.68 minus 5.14 over 61.68. So 12 minus 5.14 is 6.86. 1 over x equals 6.86 or 61.68. I'm going to take the inverse of that, which would be x equals 61.68 divided by 686 equals 8.99 hours. If this doesn't make sense to you, just cross multiply 6.86x equals 61.68. You're going to divide that by 6.86 divided by 6.86 is what, it, what you put in your calculator. So does that make sense on how to solve these? I have problems 7 through 12. If you want me to solve them, just ask. I'll make a video.